Hey sis and bro, it's your girl Nate and I'm back live with another freaking video. For today's video, I am bringing you guys some more luxurious hair, guys. So I did a start to finish tutorial on how I got this frontal look with this 24 inch unit that was styled and sewn by me. So I really hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this type of content, as always, feel free to comment down below so I can know what you guys like. Definitely want to say welcome back to my sisters and bros. Don't forget to subscribe down below just so you can be a sister bro as well. So without further ado, y'all, let's just hop right into it. Alright y'all, so we're starting off with a fresh wig. Just washed it. It was already in this part. This wig is something I pulled out of my wig box so I honestly could not tell you the hair company. But I just went ahead and washed the wig, blow dried it, and I'm just showing you the frontal now. So the parting is pretty good for the frontal. It's pretty plucked. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and pluck it. But I am going to go ahead and just make sure my parting is correct. I did want to show you this side of the frontal though because it is pretty messed up. So y'all going to see how I really transformed this. It has a lot, a lot of balding towards the front as you can see. So I'm going to show you guys how I fixed that at the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my tresemme, work that all up in my hair. wanted to show you guys if you are going ahead and using a unit you sewed yourself making sure at this stage that your tracks are not showing in the back is so important because when you style it you don't want your track showing and then girl is stuck that way because you literally trained your hair to go that way so just going ahead and long curling and I'm just gonna not talk as much until I get to the frontal part Okay, I had to come back in to say do not make fun of my janky braids, but I just wanted to show you guys this new product I've been using. It's called Edge Booster. I have 4C hair and it's been working pretty well with it. So in case you're looking for something new to try out, I would recommend it. But okay, I'm I'm, I'm be quiet. Bye.
Okay, because this side was a little janky, I did this side last because I wanted to make sure it was secure the most. So when I do it um, on each side for the guy to be, I do it first in one half and then the other. But the first half that I do, I always do the top of my head because you'll see if you don't do that, the very middle of your head will start to lift and the sides will be stuck down. This is the key y'all to getting your wig super flat every single time. I go in with my lot to body mousse. You can order it on Amazon if your beauty supply is not currently open or if you don't have it anyone near you. But I think it's like $7 on Amazon. It's so good and I use that in combination with my hot comb that I got from the beauty supply store. Again, you can get that from Amazon or your local beauty supply store. And then when you're done sealing everything, you finish off with your got to be. It is going to seal your part every single time. Like every single time, every single time. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I'm laying my edges. So I am laying the, the edge brush down straight on my forehead and then I'm grinding it on the edge softly and pressing it and swooping it guys. So like I use the actual horizontal like I don't know how to say it but like the actual flat part of the edge brush to like lay it in one direction and then I swoop it with the actual like tip of it you know what I'm saying so just go ahead and practice girl but just try to be gentle with this part because I noticed like when you use a rat tail comb instead of a actual brush like those edge brushes the other end it 
is such a difference like it is such such a difference like your edges come out so much smoother and even though it's a little bit harder to work with because you wanted to get it perfect but it's so like flimsy because of the mousse this will make sure your edges every time look bomb so really just try to work on it in the mirror and just keep trying to like press it out and even there are parts and times where i'm like okay i'm annoyed but girl just work it out and then because this does kind of take me a long time to do because i want it to be perfect and the mousse i don't want it to dry up i just seal it with some got to be on my edge and i spray it on my finger and i just seal it and there you are Is this anybody else's favorite part? This is like the big reveal, like, ah, ah, flip it, flip it, ew. So we're gonna go ahead and take our rabbit off. Oh, voila. Ah, yes, girl. Yes. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And the reason why I put some powder and foundation on my edges on the sides as well when I, before I set it with my scarf is because I noticed like when I do that, I feel like the powder just sets in with the lace and it just comes out looking like skin every single time. Like look at that. Look, 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 look. And you can wear it without makeup. You can wear it with makeup. It's going to look regardless. Regardless. Period. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and feel free to subscribe down below. Uh, give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think my next wig I will be reviewing. If you get the correct answer, I will give you a post notification shout out in my next freaking video. Love you guys always. Peace.